Yo, what's up, YouTube fam and best friends? So today I'm so excited. It's a good video. I didn't plan to shoot it, but I just decided to shoot it because I want you guys to know everything about us. Not not like basically everything, but almost almost everything. Because I don't want to share everything. You know, you cannot share everything on social media. So, so. Social media. So today is one of those days that I'm just in the house doing nothing, cleaning, and it's my husband's off day and he's literally playing games. So if you're a new subscriber, thanks for stopping by. I know you're gonna fall in love with this channel, and if you do, baby girl, or you already fall in love with this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you get notified every time i post a new video so you may wonder why to, i'm shooting today but i want to show you guys our wedding picture established in 2021 so i want to do that and then you guys will see because i did my wedding in us and none of my kenyan friends came or none of my kenyan family came and my my best friend or my best boyfriend not a boyfriend boyfriend but my best friend who's a boy walked me down the aisle and he's from boston yeah and i also have a kenyan friend who i attended her wedding like we just met so i don't know like we met when i was looking for my wedding dress and she was also looking for a wedding dress i know Saida, you're gonna watch this if you do i'm so happy to have you as my friend who is a kenyan and who's married to a white guy as so like the same and we can relate in many things yeah so those are the people who are like black like only two black people plus me we were three so three black people in my wedding that was fun so today i'm gonna be showing you guys our wedding pictures as we go out they're so cute you guys are gonna fall in love with them you can screenshot for your wallpapers anyway i'm just kidding <laughs> okay let's get it here this video is gonna be as short as possible because i don't want it to be so long okay so and then so you guys have been asking me questions and how i plan my wedding and stuff because i had a short time to plan my wedding because as y'all know like in in Tar i mean in if you get the k1 visa you better hurry up and get married in the span in the span of three months so if you don't you're gonna be chased out of the country like go go so we had to plan it as up the moment i came here like i just landed like this the wedding plans had already started and i didn't show i didn't say any to anyone like i'm one person who likes surprises i'll always surprise people okay so when i just dropped in us the wedding plan started the, the second week i was here we went looked for my dress with my mother-in-law her sister sister-in-law and her two sisters-in-law and grandma so the first dress like the first dress i tried on is the dress i wanted but that's not the type of dress i wanted to have i wanted to get um a mommy type of dress but that dress was super cute so i just decided to settle with that dress you know what i'm saying the first thing you try and it's your best and then i had to ring the bell ding, ding, ding. To say yes to the dress and everybody was emotionally crying you know like literally crying because it was so emotional and the fact that my mom had passed away and she couldn't be able to cut like because she's passed away so she can't come to the wedding yeah so i guess i'll just do the pictures later i don't feel like doing it and recording it yeah so that happened and then People have been asking me how much did we budget for a wedding. Literally, I'd say, baby, how? Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. How much do you think we use for a wedding or planning a wedding? Oh. Shh. Probably, wait, for us, probably less than Like that's one hundred k. Yeah. Yeah, our wedding was so simple. Like it was, we spent. We spend like for for like us the money that we spend was probably a thousand dollars that's 100k because i know people use a lot of money to spend wedding like millions but for us we were blessed because i'd say my husband is a person like a people person is that even right a people person so 
we were gifted many things like our reception was planned okay our reception was planned by someone from the church but unfortunately he passed away that's so sad but it's bittersweet because we know he's with the lord because he was so ready to meet the lord but it was planned by him everything was catered for because they wanted me to feel at home they wanted me to feel the kenyan vibe you know and we didn't have to pay for anything like that was just catered for the next thing is like a lot of people ask about the wedding is why did i not have um why did i not have flower girls or rather bridesmaid you know my husband was having brides like okay groomsmen not bridesmaid groomsmen but i didn't have um those type i didn't have one because I was just new here like literally i'd say i had i had friends while i was in kenya because i used to make friends because i knew i was coming here okay so i had friends and people but they were not black <laughs> sorry if i'm sorry if it's 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 a bad thing to say that but they were not black and i wanted like for me to have a line of blacks and in like any person he chose but it didn't work out and also like it was a short notice so people wouldn't have prepared so adequately because it was so short like a short notice so that didn't work out well so i chose to have two like I, like my sister-in-law and my husband had his best friend has his groomsmen, just that way okay and it was fun and also i, I had like we were, our wedding we were planning to have like a hundred people for our wedding like ever since we got engaged we were planning to have um we're planning to have we're planning to have um 100 people but because my husband is a people person and people love me here yo our wedding was packed so packed like we had lots of people and it was fun to fellowship with people come people to come witness you getting married and choosing the person you want to spend the rest of your life with you know that's kind of thing but it was so fun we had lots of food like we had corn my indie but i couldn't eat corn because you know i was literally smiling like i was like this the whole day i was just <laughs> by the time i was done when <laughs> it was like this because you know you're happy it's a happy day so you just have to be yeah so yeah and another question people always ask me is how much was my dress my dress costed 500 bucks 500 dollars and that's 50k literally i'd say this day's dress are so cheap like you can even hire a dress but i didn't want to hire i have my dress with me and i'm planning to store it so well like in future if god gives me a daughter I'll, if god gives me a daughter i'll 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 give it to her to practice for a wedding so that's what they do here so i'm gonna do that too because you know you follow the culture you do what the romans do yeah another thing people always ask me <laughs> about my wedding is let me think let me think 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 because i get a lot of questions on my my instagram on even on my wedding picture and my wedding videos like how long did i plan for my wedding i said see our wedding was planned immediately we got engaged but because of the visa process we took long to plan it but it took long for us to plan it but i already knew what i wanted everything that's i do for the wedding the theme and stuff because my theme was bleach i mean peach 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 and then for guys blue so yeah so that was my theme but so i'd say a wedding took long to be planned but be because of the visa but when i just dropped in the u.s my wedding was started like started planning the same same day i dropped in the u.s or rather when my visa was approved my mother-in-law was everywhere like hey we need to get a dress hey we need to do this we need to do. like she was just happy you know yeah hope i've answered your questions i don't want to make this video so long and boring and hope you guys enjoy if you have any question about the wedding thing about the planning about everything just drop it on the com at the comment section and i'll answer it another question is people ask me if we went for a honeymoon no we chose not to go for a honeymoon but we are planning for something and it's gonna be a surprise i'm so excited about it and hopefully i'll vlog it so and for that reason hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please subscribe and give it a like and yeah because yes, i'm i want to put them in this book it's um it was a wedding gift we got 
you see it's forever and then established in 2021 so i want to do that and then you guys will see because i did my wedding in us and none of my here are the bunch of pictures i know you're gonna love this because i love the pictures i look so cute so here are the pictures we have the hicks i want to put them here on this wedding book gift and we're gonna do it together yeah so let's get at it Shoop, shoop, shoop. Okay. Yeah. This is the friend I was talking about. This is Saida. The friend I'm telling you, I met her here. She's a Kenyan, a Kiambu girl. And then, oh, look the way they carry my babe. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, look at that, so cute. Look at my sister-in-law putting shoes on me. I decided to do white on my foot because I wanted to have white finger toe after the wedding. Oh, and that's so cute. I'm gonna put this here. And then the the best part about this book is it has it has some place you can write something. So I'm gonna do that. Look at me and my sister in love. It looks so good. Look at my baby. Look at my husband. Hey, husband. He's such a cutie. Hey, husband. Ew. This is my husband's best friend. This is my sister in love. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. Oh, so cute. Oh. <laughs> okay guys <laughs> i don't know if should i continue doing this vlog or not this is me my sister-in-law my husband i don't know who this is but she's so pretty and this is my husband's best friend <laughs> look at that <laughs> is that cool okay guys i don't think i want to do this vlog <laughs> I think this is the last picture. Whoopsie. Wait, so what do we do? Yeah, just hold them up high. Hold them up high. Oh, Ryan. Oh, got it. Come on down. Okay, I'm going to get down to the. That's where we're all using my phone. Yeah, I'm going to get
If you want to like celebrate, arms up.